explain again, like, what is this first step? Um, this here? first step is to cook the grains to release all of the fermentable sugar. So we're turning the starch into sugar. And how long does this usually take? About three hours. Yeah. All right, so we're going to pump the mash. It's going to be hot coming from upstairs down here into one of these open fermenters. Once it's all down here, it's going to be about 160 degrees. We need to cool it down. We will pump it in through our chiller, um, which will cool it down pretty quickly in about 20 to 30 minutes, down to the proper temperature, about 85 degrees. Then we're going to pitch in our yeast. Once the yeast is pitched, we stir it up, and then we move it into a fermenter for uh, four days for fermentation. Yeah, 85% of what's in here is, is sourced in Pennsylvania, which is cool. These are uh, GMO-free, organic, sourced by a place called Small Valley Milling in PA, which is really cool that we're able to kind of honor the Pennsylvania farmer in our product. Because these are GMO-free grains, they're also, they have to use a lot of heirloom seeds, and heirloom seeds go back, you know, 100 years, so essentially these are the same, genetically the same type of grains that they would have used pre-prohibition. So we're definitely honoring kind of the pre-prohibition method of, of, of uh, making our whiskey.